Hi, Auntie Bev here. You know, I consider myself a very good writer. In addition to being a trained journalist who had to write stories for many years, I am also the author of five books. And on top of that, I am a professional writing consultant at North Carolina Central University. And one of the things I tell all of my students is, you must create an outline before you start writing your essay or research paper. So in this little tutorial today, I want to talk about the value of writing an outline. So what is an outline, you ask? Well, an outline is supposed to answer the who, what, where, when, why, and how of your paper. Now, not every paper will answer all of those questions, but once you know the prompt, then you can plug in what is most relevant. Is there a who? There will always be a what, because you're talking about whatever the issue is. But then you have to figure out, is there a how that's relevant? Is there a when that's relevant? And as you answer those questions, you will plug in the information you have researched. So why is an outline important? Well, it helps you develop your ideas. It helps you to plug in those holes, as I said, in order to make it easier for you to write. It also helps you to clarify your thoughts. The problem many people have when they attempt to write without an outline is they just write down whatever they think and they try to put it all together, but a lot of times it doesn't come together because there is no flow of thought. But when you have an outline and you've been able to plug in the who, what, where, when, why, and or how, you're able to get a better picture of how you are supposed to write that essay. And also, creating an outline just saves time. It is very difficult to just sit down and write from point A to point Z without stopping or being frustrated. Even I, when I was writing my books, I had to create an outline so that I would have clarity of my thoughts and the ideas would be developed as I created that outline. So let's just look at this prompt right here for a moment. And let me give you some ways that you could answer this prompt. So the prompt is, reflect on a time when you challenged a belief or idea. What prompted your thinking? What was the outcome? Now, this is actually a common application essay prompt. So I'm giving you a little cheat sheet here. Well, first of all, we know there's a who. And why do we know there's a who? Because it says reflect on a time when you challenged. So you are the who. There is a what. Well, they want you to reflect on a time where you challenged a belief. So the what is, what was the challenge? What did you reflect on? Now, is there a when? Well, yes. There is a win because your belief could have been challenged when you were five years old, or it could have been challenged just yesterday. So that's your win. The other one is where. Now that gets to be a little iffy because if you went to a, another country and you your beliefs about a different religion or different nationalities were challenged, then that would be your where. You know, I went to Africa and I discovered that Africans are much like people in the United States. So there was your awakening. I was the who, where it happened in Africa. And what I discovered was Africans are much like Americans. And then there is the when. When did you go? When did it happen? Did it happen yesterday, last week, last year, 10 years ago? And how 
did it change you? What kind of person did you become as a result of what you experienced? How did it change your outlook on life in general? So that's how you will go about it. And then you will just plug in, like I said, you'll plug in your answers based on the who, what, where, when, why, and how. And after you've done that, you can start writing. It really is that simple. If you need more tutorial on how to create that wonderful essay, just contact me, Auntie Bev, at allwordsmatter.com. I hope it helps you. Good luck. And remember, it's always your time to shine.